<laughs> Nate Robinson getting in the ring with Jake Paul, and it did not go well. Steve Novak, I would love to get your thoughts on Nate knuckling up this past weekend. Please, the floor is yours. <laughs> uh, listen, Kaz, Monica, what is the price of dignity? I guess is really the question. If you're going to get in the boxing ring against someone bigger than you and stronger than you, that's got to be the question because you know it probably is not going to end well. In this case, for Nate Robinson, oh, my goodness, he went to sleep. It did not end well. Now, I have to Ugh. say I have a little bit of history with Nate Robinson, so <laughs> I may have been cheering for Jake Paul, not out of hate. You just have to pick a side sometimes. <laughs> he did win. Okay, so I won my wager. But I guess yes. the wow. good news for Nate Robinson is he was paid, I heard, over a half a million dollars for this. So if there's a price for dignity, maybe that's it. it may, maybe, maybe. But you, you touched on it earlier. Uh, you and Nate do have a little history now. Producers, please fire up that footage from back in 2013 <laughs> when you guys were taking on the Chicago Bulls. And Nate let you have it with the discount double check. And yeah, you, you, you had a little back and forth back then. Uh, take me back to this moment right here. And please, uh, put your petty glasses on and get as petty as you like because the floor is yours, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all can appreciate a little Nate Robinson. He's a dunk champion. He is one of the smallest guys to ever play in the NBA. His skills are impressive. But that's where my compliments are going to end because when you start using my discount double check, which I clearly have uh -oh. permission to Ooh. use from Aaron Rodgers, I'm Ooh. just saying he had a little too much to say, and I had to let him know when little Nate grows up one day, he probably <laughs> is going to want to be like Steve Novak, like all the other little boys and girls, is all I said in the post-game press conference. <laughs> little Nate wasn't happy. He hit me on Twitter. I don't prefer to do the Twitter bout kind of thing. I'm more of a boxer myself. Unfortunately, Ooh, I wasn't so getting. I didn't wait, get the call like they called it. But so, that would have so. been some good TV, is all I'm saying. Now, 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 Steve, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but when you say you're much more, you'd rather knuckle up with Nate, right? We've seen that he's he's gonna need a get back. Are you saying you will step in the oh ring with Nate guys. Robinson if the bag was right, if the dignity bag was right? What? Would you do it? Should I call Triller right now? <laughs> Hey, listen, there's a price for everything. Like I said, some people are willing to sell their dignity. You know what I'm going to do? I'm probably going to hide behind the screen because if anybody knows my, what my MO is, I actually, when I played basketball, didn't even really like to go in the paint. I would just continue to back up as far as I had to to get away from everyone else on the court and shoot it from as far away as I had to. So perhaps I'm talking a bit aggressive for who I actually am. But since you're a wrestling guy, Kaz, Come on, you could be my hype man, right? You could get me going. Well, that's what I'm saying. We here, bro. We here. I could be <laughs> you a Jimmy two are Hart. A dangerous I could be your Paul Heyman. You know what I mean? I could be your you advocate. Two. I got you. This will be. This well, is I'm dangerous. Trying to, I'm just trying to get us a bag for all of us. All right, Trilla. That was, that was a, lot of, a lot of a lot of buys this past weekend. So you know, we can make mm -hmm. some money on this on the side. We can do this together. Mm -mm. <laughs> this is dangerous. I do not support. I do not support this. <laughs> No, V. Let's, um, let's, 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 let's keep it continuing, man. You played with a lot of tough guys in the NBA. A lot of tough guys. Is there one person that stands out as probably your most toughest teammate that you've ever suited up with? Uh, yeah, you know, I think the guy that really pops into my mind is Manu Ginobili. He was a guy with San Antonio who was kind of known as the Iron Man. He was, he played for it seemed like 40 years in the NBA and overseas won every single championship there was to win. He won gold medals. He won uh, national uh, world championships with the San Antonio Spurs. He really was to me a guy who played through injuries being with him in the training room. You would see how banged up he was at the end of his career. He had a dislocated elbow one game late in the season, but we needed the win in order to get a playoff spot. And he played through it. And it actually ended up costing him the ability to play then in the playoffs in the first round against the Memphis Grizzlies. So it was amazing to watch what he was willing to fight through. But he was probably the toughest guy, especially just being able to see him in the training room. He was unbelievable.